Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Now let's make this bend a little bit trickier. Let's suppose we have to bend a four-point saddle over an object, but we work from a fixed point. That means we have to calculate for shrinkage on that distance. So let's learn how to do that right now. We have the same situation that we have having to go over this block, which is 8 inches high and 16 inches wide. And the center of our block is 36 inches from the fixed point, which is the edge over here. So that's the first number we need to know for our calculation. So let's go and mark our pipe, 36 inches. Okay, now remember from earlier that the shrinkage on a 30 degree bend is one quarter inch of shrinkage for every inch of depth. Now we know our block is eight inches in depth, so eight times one quarter of an inch, eight quarters of an inch is two inches. So we need two inches for shrinkage. So we add two inches to 36, which makes 38. Now the reason that we add the two inches is if it's going to shrink, we have to make it bigger to allow for the shrinkage. So think of it that way. So that's why we have to mark away from the fixed point because it's going to shrink toward it. So remember, if something shrinks, you have to make it bigger if you want to keep the same result. So this center here where we have allowed for shrinkage that's where we're going to make our measurements from. Now, if you remember earlier, the block is 16 inches wide, and what we did on the last time, we allowed 2 inches of clearance to make our bend. So, remember, half of 16 is 8, and if we want to add 2 inches to clear it, we have to mark it 10 inches away on each side. Okay, and now we have to make some marks for our first bend. Now we know, once again, the depth of our offset is 8 inches. We know the multiplier for a 30 degree angle is 2. 8 times 2 is 16. So we mark from this mark now 16 inches to get the mark for our first bend. And we have to do the same at the other end as well. So now it's time to bend our pipe. So I'm going to make this bend. I'm going to use the star. So I've got the bender set up with the star, my first mark. And I'm going to make a 30 degree bend. And again, I'm going to use the bender handle on the level. Okay, this bends a little bit big, so I'm going to take some out of it. Okay. Now the next bend again. And I'm going to line up my pipe, rotate it. Okay, now that I'm nice and straight, I'm going to start this off. Now the last bend we made with all air bends. Now this one, I'm going to use a slightly different technique. I'm down to about 22 degrees. So I'm going to flip it over onto the floor now. And again, this time, when I know that my bender handle is straight up and down, I'm at 30 degrees. And there we are, 30 degrees there. So now, 
I'm ready to make my third bend. So all I have to do is take that third mark and I'm going to line that up again with the star. And I can see right now here, this is my center mark after we go out for the shrinkage. So I'm moving to the first mark over here, which is 10 inches away from that. And that's where I put the star. So again, now I can leave this one to bend it on the floor. Make sure I'm lined up. So I'm just going to bend this. Okay, now that my handle's about straight up and down, I check with the level. Okay, now it's time to make the fourth bend. So take it out of the bender, put my mark on the star, and again, I got to start this off as an air bend. So I line up the pipe, make sure it's nice and straight. Okay, I'm making air bend, and again, I'm going to go to about 22 degrees or so, a little bit further. And once again, I'm going to turn this over. Put this down on the ground. Finish this off. Looks like I need a little more. Okay. So now it's time to see how well this fits against our fixed uh, point. We place against our fixed point. And you can see that the center mark is above the center of our bend. And if you take a closer look at this, let's notice something here. Here's the center mark where we've allowed for our shrinkage and we're over the center of the block. Here's the original mark and we notice that we're about two inches away from the center of our block. And this is why we had to allow for the shrinkage. Now if we go further back and, and look at our offset, our, our saddle, we can see we've got our mark here and then our first mark over here. Again, we bent these with the star point and you must use the star when you're bending like this. This first mark here is two inches away from the edge of the block, which we allowed for. Remember, we made it 10 inches instead of eight. And over at this end of the bend, we have the same situation as well. So we're two inches away from the edge of our block. And notice how we've got a nice bend from a flat surface. We offset up on another surface over our obstacle and we transition down and make our flat surface away. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.